It is, it is 8.30 and we are going to call a meeting to order. First item on the agenda is the uh, selection of chairman and vice chairman. Don't everybody breathe at once. <laughs> Take all the air out of the room, right? Um, <laughs> I would nominate D. Sanchez for chairman. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Nominate. Got that done. Sweet. Uh, I would nominate Lee. It's, you're, you're the next up for vice chair. Yeah. Second. I would not nominate. We've had a motion and a nomination, or a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Oh, okay. And if any of you think the election has been rigged and somebody shouldn't have won it, let me know. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, we so we can check. <laughs> yeah, actually, it looks it's like the end this time. What now? The public comments are at the end. If you want to move them on. Uh, just have there. Okay. So. You need no motion to acknowledgements. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Uh, just so the public knows, it's for December 15th, 18th, 20th, when's the 22nd? Okay. So we had a motion and a second, right? Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meet with County Engineer. Well, Happy New Year, Supervisors. Yes. So you gave Not us some paper. Huh? It's going. It's going to be well. We we have. Uh, the crews out cutting brush under bridges, uh, spotting in rocks and rocks, yeah. spotting in rock and soft areas. And then uh, we're also fabbing up some front blades for the motor graders, which is a blade that's mounted on the front that they can use for plowing snow and also for pushing trees off the road for some heavy rears of uh, dozer type work during the summer. There is a long bit Alaska. Well, the guys have been out there not road for a tree. Yeah. Now it's old and decrepit, and when it fell, it broke up pretty good. So it's not really in the road, but it is across the right of way. It's not, it's not, a, not an emergency. But Brett sent me out to check it out. After looking at an address, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a look here. I gave you our tabs for the. Bridge inspection services, I'll get it on the agenda to approve. Can you mix a match on this or not? Not really. Um, no, it's yeah. yeah so it, it's that's why I wanted some time to kind of go through it to make sure I had everything covered because you know there's the base inspection for just inspecting the 49 bridges that are due this this spring. <clears throat> but then we also have because they're the state regulations, we have to load rate every one of those bridges this year, which normally we would not have to, but with their new, the new federal regulations, plus the all systems permit that the state's requiring us to participate in by 2025, we have to have all of our bridges rated by 2025. So. Each year, we will, as we inspect the bridges, we will have them load rated. And that's a different procedure than just inspection. It's more intense. And some, some, as you can see in the tab, some of the consultants think that's worth a lot of money, and other ones kind of have a system down that they're not nearly as expensive. And um, going through the tabs are consultant that we've been using for years. It was the low bid, not by a lot, but right. um, I think it it reflects in, in their bridge rating price that they're 
they're very familiar with our structures, whereas the other consultants that have to basically rebuild the wheel to get into that. And that's pretty much what, what, kept, what kept them in. But I will have that on next week's agenda for formal approval. But I wanted you guys to see where we were at on that. Um, and other than that, we've just been discussing budgeting between myself and Billy and Melissa and Thomas, trying to make sure that we've got everything in order as we go forward in the budgeting process and what we can and can't shave on. And Do you foresee any vehicles purchase? Uh, if the numbers work out right, we will get another tractor trailer rig for a uh, belly dump and with the goal that we won't be hiring any trucking for contract rock. Ooh. And last year we spent $250,000 in trucking on contract rock, which it figures out six bucks a ton. So it's not, it's not a terrible haul rate, but if we did that in house, it would be somewhat less. Mm -hmm. We, and I'll be good to see how that comes us out. And we did receive $40,000 in a TSIP grant towards portable traffic lights oh, good. that we can use for when we're doing repair work. So that'll free up two crew members. Hmm. I think we're still going to have $10,000 that we'll have to pay for that out of pocket, but that's still a... That's a bargain. Still, yeah, still a good bargain. Um, good job. And then I'm working on... Let's see, we've got raise grants coming up. There'll be another community grant that Representative Miller Meeks will have available this coming year. That we'll do a write up on that. So, Libertyville Road and Packwood Road are my targets on those two sources. And I think there's a third one. I'm still going through the notice of funding on that to make sure that it's something that we can qualify for. I know. When you did the the nutmeg and, mm -hmm. and all those roads, you talked about over time that's going to save gravel costs. Mm -hmm. Are there any other roads that you're thinking about trying to do that same process? Uh, we Yeah, we were just talking about that this morning as well. Uh, Jasmine, North, uh, Jasmine? Yeah, Jasmine, that runs in the south end of Richland. Mm -hmm. So coming north from one tenth, <clears throat> that gets a lot of traffic for a gravel road and then ash south of Batavia. Can you look at Spruce? Because I know from Highway 34 to mm -hmm. the north to the county line, that's a lot of traffic. That's on my that's on my wish list. So I've I've gone through it. I've got about 70 miles that would qualify you know they're over 100 vehicles a day and that that's kind of what i consider the cutoff where it makes sense to use that it's just a matter of making sure we have the money to do it well obviously it'll take a period of time to mm -hmm. accomplish it but it sure it's nice to drive us in so are we doing liberty bill road this construction season the bridge will be let in October, so it'll be next construction season before. Next road, yeah. And that's the road I'm trying. I, if I'm going to submit the grant at the end of February, they'll find out, notify recipients in June. And if we don't get that, then I'm going to have to start picking away at that with farm to market funds kind of piecemeal doing the sub drains and shoulders first and then mm -hmm. after that's established go with the rehab on it um probably get tired of this question but have you heard whether or not the 110th is funded we won't know until congress is back in session okay. it should be it should be on their easy list that gets approved in January. But that's provided they approve a budget, right? Well, as I understand their agreement, their continued agreement they had, the easy stuff was going to get approved in January. 
and the stuff they were going to argue over was in February. The community grants should be part of the easy stuff. So would that be about the 19th of January? I don't know. Because that's when they come back to work. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to guess it will take them two weeks. I think they had till the 27th oh, okay. to get that approved. But <clears throat> yeah, So by the end of January, by the end of this month, we should know. Okay. And if it doesn't, we'll have to look at another option on that as well. All right, anything else? Um, oh, yeah. So right now, because we don't have approval on that funding, the letting for that will be kicked back till April. We were hoping for a March letting, which would make it easier for construction this year. Um, but because we don't have funding agreement in place, the DOT is going to force us to kick that down the road a month. And hopefully it's all that kicks it down is one month. And that, let's see, we had... <laughs> One minor injury this week. One of the employees slipped coming up out of a ditch and twisted his ankle. It did not need medical care, but it was a reportable incident. I think that's all I got, folks. Thank you. Oh, traffic signs. Melissa and Troy Bisgard compiled all of our replacement traffic signs and submitted at 1202 this morning our fund our grant application to the idot for nine thousand dollars so it's on a first come first serve basis and you have to you had to turn them in after midnight so <laughs> so we will find out about that later this month hopefully and what are those signs before just you just just, just the replacement signs the that we replaced through the course okay. of the year They've got a they've got a pool of funds, and if you get your applications in early, they'll. Your department's been doing a good job getting grants. We well, got to you know. There's <laughs> there's there's a lot of need, and there's now the money, so you got to. So it took you know twelve or two to punch the button, huh? Well, I just set it up on auto, oh. auto submit. I, I I didn't want my clock to be different from the DOTs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought a two minute lag was just fine. Well, you didn't say because if you say if it was 1159, they kick it back. Right. All right. Very good. Yeah, and that's all I have. Okay. Thanks. All right, Brian, meet with the analyst director. Thanks, Dwayne. Good morning. Happy New Year. You're not going to have a warm seat. I, I appreciate that. So, <laughs> all right, thanks. Good morning. As of today, we've done uh, 436 calls, 137 for the month of December. You say 437 calls? 436. <laughs> yeah, all right. So that would be basically October to December. Yes. You should. Take it out for us. There's an overview map for those calls. There's two. Okay, that's fine. I probably turn them up twice. Okay. And so have we received any? We have uh, $306 as trickling in. Our Medicare should be approved this week. So basically, um, $233,000, we've received $306. Yes. Uh, yeah. Medicare. It can only go up. Yeah. We have the same one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be. I made that with all people. All right, so you're going to take us through these one by one. 
The last one, yeah, I've heard that one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's <clears throat> uh, So which one are we we can at? start off this with the map. Be... Yes. This is an a view of uh, our call. This is a uh high up view if you if you will, of call, 229 calls in the city of Fairfield. Uh, and as we expand out, you can see where we've answered calls throughout the, uh, the area. Bob range. It's interesting. So the three and not pleasant, that's that mutual aid? That would be correct, right, just now. The 14 is the Lockridge area? That's correct. Um, the next one we can look at is uh, the best one the, the incident by location. Oh, okay. And this breaks it down to where uh, between residence, uh, paved road, mobile home, public building, assisted living facility, which is not that much, and uh, nursing home, and the accidents we responded to in the street or highway. And it just breaks it down to where where we respond to calls. Uh, the hospital and the residence is, is the most significant as that pie chart. Yeah. So the next one would be transport by by destination. From uh October 1st to December 31st is what it's cover and it breaks it down to where we responded and the number next to it, the uh, 219 46 is how many calls we've done with each area. <laughs> And again, the largest part is the closest to the BJCHC. I'm just curious what the no value is. Now, those are basically standbys. Okay. And if we go out or we get disregarded as we, as we go out. Okay. So they don't come back. We'll do the incident by postal code next one. That just breaks it down to how many calls you responded within that postal code, and much of it at the Fairfield area of 363 calls. The rest are broken down, um, but the area that you responded to putting new flight and things like that. Hmm. The last one would be the uh, incident mode by transport, how it was responded. Merchant calls, we've done 126 respond emergency. Uh, non emergent, we respond 170. Uh, emergent downgraded to non emergent would be one. And the non emergent upgraded to emergent would be three at this time. Mr. So non emergent would be things like. Transports for the transports, uh, lift assist, mm -hmm. uh, medical alerts, things like that. Has staffing going? Staffing's going real well. Uh, I was on the truck the past two days. Oh, tired. Uh, but uh, that was to let people have all kinds of small kids and family mm -hmm. in their hands. But uh, as of now, everything's going real smoothly. Rape checks done and drug checks and things like that. So things real smooth. And our, our call volume, uh, as I reported, we're out of 99 counties, we're at 95% uh, response times. They're within three to five minutes. 
and our on scene times are uh, all finished or less. So, which is 95 out of the 99 counts. So. Do you have a, a, a something that would show us all the counties and what their what their rates are? As far as I'm sorry, response rates. Yeah, I can get those. Would you get that for me? Yeah, thank you. Right now, the information I get is on specific firms, but I can. I'm sure there's that. a repository of that somewhere. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll look through image training and I'll get that information out for you next week. Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. I reach out to Kevin this week. Yes, I reached out to him on um, the 27th and I had the response. So I'll give a call. I'm assuming it begins at the holidays. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next is board and committee assignments. Let's take a look to those. <clears throat> Any changes? I, I think we should leave things where they are. You told me you take her to job. I did not. <laughs> Do you want to take Area 15 and I'll take BCAP? I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I could throw ECI in there too. Well, I knew you would say that. <laughs> no, I got, yeah, that's fine. Just, and part of the reason for DCAT is because I'm on those other criminal justice ones. It's helpful to get that information from Troy. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, when you meet, I can see. Uh, it's usually the fourth Tuesday, but there's not one this month. Or in December, I don't so know. So what are we changing? Area 15, I believe. Oh, where is it? There it is, regional planning. Is, well, you were first alternate, so let's just split that. I'll be set first alternate. And we'll be. And, okay. and again, we'll just switch those. Okay. Um, so there's no need for it. Okay. Uh, no, that was December. So you have a meeting this month? As far as I know, but okay. he's, he's been canceling some of them, so you never really know until the end of the month. I'll give you a call this afternoon or the one that I'm yeah. having said any agendas. Okay. okay. All right. Um, was it just area 15 regional planning or is it also the ready board? Yeah, that goes with it because yeah. they always meet together. Good question. Good, Abby. good clarification. Pretty good as a new kid. I'm not sure the other one would have picked up on that. Oh, I love you too. Okay, Abby, do we need a motion on this? No. Nothing. Okay. And moving right on. Consider a resolution regarding your authorizations. Okay, this is one of those. So, is this the newspaper one? No. Be it resolved, Jefferson County Board of Supervisors following authorizations are hereby effective for the 2024 calendar year. County and Federal employees authorized to attend meetings and schools of instruction at county expense. Chairman and Board of Supervisors is authorized to execute leases and or deeds of conveyance for or on behalf of Jefferson County. County Auditor is authorized to exercise the authority granted and, and as provided by chapters 331.506, subsection 2 and 3, 2023 Code of Iowa. County engineers designated, authorized, and empowered on behalf of the Board of Supervisors to execute the Certificate of Completion of Work and Final Acceptance thereof in accordance with plans and specifications. Therefore, in connection with all farm to market construction projects in Jefferson County. Okay, we need a motion on that. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. 
Do we have any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, consider approval of County Compensation Commission board members for 2024. I look through here and I think they're all alive still. <laughs> so I want to make it a motion to approve. That hasn't always been the case. Well, I know. I always say that's a well, That's why I brought it up. Good call, Susan. All right, in discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Official newspaper designation. So I had a conversation last week, a, a wonderful conversation that always is when I talk to Elizabeth. Um, and she sent me an email. And there is no requirement to publish in the newspaper. None. Secondly, the newspaper is only publishing on Tuesdays and Thursdays, which means that at the latest, we'd have to have our agenda completed by Wednesday. And I'm not sure it wouldn't have to be late Tuesday, early Wednesday morning to be able to get it in the paper to get it out on Thursday, which I think is problematic anyway. Um, but there is, I mean, and we... There are certain things we have to publish, though, right? Like public hearings and things like that. But you don't have to designate it as an official newspaper. Okay. Secondly... Your minutes. Huh? Your minutes. No requirement to publish. No requirement to publish the agenda other than you put it out here. We, we put it on the... I'm telling you what she told me. I question that because if it doesn't get published... But it does get published. It gets published on our website. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think the message, if, if we don't approve a newspaper, which I, I agree with, like yeah. in today's world, people don't read it and it's going to be hard. Well, we send out our agenda via email. The radio station publishes our agenda. Mm -hmm. um, we put it on our website and we mount it or, or we post it out here. Which is a, a God's plenty as far as that part of it is concerned. Um, and the fact of the matter is, is that we keep doing this and we're going to be trying to do agendas on Monday. And oh, for like the only reason I question that is because the auditors, that's something that they check when they're here. What? Is that the minutes are published? We got the, well, we got the county attorneys legal opinion so that's what we'll go we're publishing on the website and out here right and on the radio station's website mm -hmm. plus we send it out via email is she available oh i assume so <clears throat> i assume so time to wake up i should print it out now. she'll answer she have a nice new year's mm -hmm. and then, that's always nice <laughs> Are you calling Alyssa? Yeah. My phone. I just realized I missed the party of the year this last this year. Year. She says the board doesn't have to publish the agenda in the newspaper, but the bulletin board should be sufficient. See below. Reasonable notice shall include advising the news media who have filed a request for notice with the governmental body and posting notice on the bulletin board or other prominent place which is easily accessible from the public and clearly designated for that purpose at the principal office of the body holy hang on one second or if no such office exists at the building in which the meeting is to be held essentially unless the newspaper have filed a request for notice you don't have to publish okay you're on speaker um Lee just yeah. read us your email about the publishing yeah. and um the auditor's office had a question because they said that something well, the auditors look for but if it's publishing we are publishing them if we just go to doing the news or the radio and the bulletin board and the website right 
Um, right, and all the Iowa code requires. Sorry, I'm on my way right now. We've had a little bit of a. Oh well, we can we can just um, can you, if you want to wait? Yeah, we can just go to another agenda item and come back if you're going to be here in a little bit. Yeah, I'm on my way over. All right, thanks. Bye. Can all you right. read that last sentence that you said let's, again? Yep. Let's. Let's move on to something else. I and mean, she'll be here. She said something came up over there. So she's on her the way. The last sentence says, essential, unless the paper have filed a request yeah. for notice. Well, they we have a copy that they want to it be the official newspaper, paper. but they're not filing a request for notice. Yeah, we have to have an official newspaper to publish our official notices. And how are we going to publish that? I'm curious, since they're only publishing on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, good question. Okay. I mean, we only publish on Thursdays, anyways. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like when I my budget should be the same. Like if I do a public hearing on especially budgets and stuff, if it publishes on Thursday, you have to have it in on Monday yeah. or Tuesday to get it in. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, is that you still can send notices for them to publish, and we still pay for it like we always have. But there's no requirement to post or to publish all this other stuff, which is costing us a fortune anyway. Can I ask a question how that works for my like election notices? If yeah, you don't have an hired to publish that in the official newspaper. Yeah. Well, there's going to be that's where let's wait till Elizabeth Again, gets here. Let's make a list of what's, on what's on required. Two days a week. And what's not. Because it, even though we had a five day paper. They would only publish our stuff on Thursdays anyway. Anything more than what we're required to publish. We're required to publish the minutes and the budget and the election notices. Did you give Abby a publish copy of this? Extra. Did I do one? Give Abby a copy of this. No, I will. Yeah. What is please? So I might need Okay. Let's go to something else and come back to this when uh, she gets here. Um, let's go to number seven, discuss and consider construction evaluation. Number seven, number seven, number seven. Evaluation resolution, which this is another annual um, oh, excuse me. thing that we do. So it's, this has to do with the DNR and the master matrix. So do you want to do this or not? Typically, we have. Well, my argument against it, to be perfectly honest with you, is, is that it puts us in a position where we pit neighbor against neighbor. And in as much as the DNR is the arbiter, it doesn't really matter what we say or don't say, the DNR has the final. Um, well, they're the final arbiter. They're the ones that we can say no to it to uh, 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 a construction or say yes to construction, and they can. They're, they're the the point simply is is that we basically are holding council and creating something that we really have to no Right, I know. In years past, sorry, we'll all get contacted by some folks to make and sure we do this. This does not preclude anybody. Does not preclude us from having a public hearing if we don't have this, and it does not preclude people from submitting uh, objections or, or whatever in writing that we can forward on to the DNR. There's just no. This is just. This says if we do this. Then we can then we can score the master matrix. Right. But the scoring, and I always in the past have done the, the write-ups for Paul Petiti at the DNR. The scoring is they they look at how we scored it. And if they agree, okay. If they don't agree, they don't agree. And right. they make the final decision one way or the other. And I just feel like that we bring people into a room when we do these scorings and I got no problem scoring Master Matrix. I, I have no problem whatsoever. We follow the law, which we're required to do. But it just seems to me that we're pitting neighbor against neighbor. Right. Susie, do you have any? 
comments for this one? I do not. Okay. Um, Hello. Yeah, I, I just know that. we have a lot of people bridge. that think at least this way we know what's going on and otherwise, and I, I fully understand what you're saying. I agree that fortunately we haven't had any for a while, so um, we can really go either way on this one. I'm just <clears throat> reading the resolution. Happy New Year. You want me to read it? Sure. Okay. Whereas Iowa Code Section 459-3043 sets out a procedure if a Board of Supervisors wishes to adopt a construction evaluation resolution relating to the construction of a confinement feeding operations structure. And whereas only counties that have adopted a construction evaluation resolution can submit to the Department of Natural Resources an adopted recommendation to approve or disapprove a construction permit application regarding a proposed confinement feeding operation structure. And whereas only counties that have adopted a construction evaluation resolution and submitted an adopted recommendation may contest the DNR's decision regarding a specific application. And whereas by adopting a construction evaluation resolution, the Board of Supervisors agrees to evaluate every construction permit application for a proposed confinement feeding operation structure received by the Board of Supervisors between February 1st, 2024 and January 31st, 2025 and submit an adopted recommendation regarding the application to the DNR. And whereas the Board of Supervisors must conduct an evaluation of every construction permit application using the master matrix created in the Iowa Code, section 459.305, but the Board's recommendation to the DNR may be based on the final score on the master matrix or may be based on the reasons other than the final score on the master matrix. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Supervisors of Jefferson County that the Board of Supervisors adopts this construction evaluation resolution pursuant to Iowa Code 459.304, parent 3. Okay. Um, I just know there's a lot of people that like, like to have this only because that way we know what's going on in our county. Otherwise, well, I know the last one we did was for Mr. Huber. Um, yeah, we haven't done one for probably, what, four right. years? Mm -hmm. And in that particular instance, we received a letter from the DNR that stated, and I quote, um, Mr. Huber, yada, 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 has met all the legal requirements. And so the, the question simply is that if they meet all the legal requirements, it doesn't matter what we say or what we do. And uh, he was granted his application to build those three barns. And I, yet we had a room full of people in here, if you remember, that wanted us to appeal that decision. And I stated to them all, what part of met all the legal requirements don't you understand? And we waste hours doing I this. And I just don't, I just don't think it's necessary. If we actually had control, I'd see it a little bit differently, but we don't. Susie, you're you know, I, I, I do agree that we uh, don't really have control, but this is something we can show people that we have, we have a path. Um, oh, I agree with Lee. I still think we need a path to show them this is what we do. As a result, we might not be able to do it. We can read this. Hopefully we won't have any this year, but that's not up to us. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make a motion. We approve this. And I do understand what you're saying, but I also understand we have people that Want, like the open process, and they were not going to feel like it's not if we don't pass those. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. 
I second that motion. Okay, any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Um, opposed? Aye. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, you just wanted to call. So I got a text from um, Chris this morning. So Mr. Book no longer has time to do this, and we received no other bid. Yes, and nor does he want to. I okay. Would, no, I just, we'll do that when we get to committee reports. Okay, let's go back to number six, official newspaper designations. Okay. So Lee gave us your email. I guess yep. we're, we're questioning... There are certain things we have to publish, so it might be helpful if we clarify what we have to publish and what we don't have to we were ta So that was in response to a question specifically about the agenda right. for okay. the board meeting. That's helpful. So that's specifically for that. Thank so you. we do have to publish notice for like hearing public hearings, so right. we'll still have to follow that procedure. Um, I will have to reach out to the because our office also has to publish things um, to we give have to notice publish for elections. We have to have an official newspaper for that. Mm -hmm. So we will have to appoint an official newspaper. Okay. Right now, we don't know what days are going to be publishing notice. Like in the past, it's been on Wednesdays. Is that correct? Thursdays, even though it was a five day paper, we only published on Thursdays for the county business. And, and our sometimes we notices we would publish would only be on Wednesdays. So I don't know which day they're going to designate. And I don't know if you've gotten that information, which day they're going to designate. So as it pertains to the Board of Supervisors meeting agenda specifically, that's what that response was. So the question <laughs> is, and I, I never even <laughs> thought about this, so I'm glad you brought it up, Abby, you too. If they designate what the day is, if the day is going to be Tuesday that they publish, so we're screwed. You just, then, then you have to think ahead of time. Which we have to do anyway, to yeah. a certain extent, you know, because we know we have to get publication in by a certain day and we have to publish a certain number of times. Yeah, so we just need to more than 20 and calculate the timelines. You see what I'm saying yeah. is, is what I'm asking, I think, is define for me what constitutes the official newspaper. I'm saying that, for example, the Courier prints three days a week. It has to be published in the county, which it's not because it's not done in Cedar Rapids. That's exactly right. Mm. It's yeah, not printed it here. It. It's not anything here. So it is not a county newspaper. <clears throat> It's it has circulation here. Mm -hmm. So does the Courier. So does the Hawkeye. So does the Des Moines Register. Mm -hmm. It says in here most, if not all, of the notice published by Jefferson County are currently being published on Thursdays, which will not change as we move to twice weekly. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. There you go. Problem solved. I all guess right. it doesn't Thank answer you. my my office's question, but that's okay. I'll we'll figure that one out separately. What about minutes? Do we have to publish those? So that I didn't look into minutes that? specifically. And I know Chauncey is also addressing this question. Didn't somebody pose it to Chauncey because he's going through and figuring out exactly what needs to be published. Yeah. I mean, so Shannon is the one that does the minutes. And like I was telling them, it's the that's something the auditors check mm -hmm. to make sure that the minutes are being published like they're supposed to. Okay. Here's the other issue. We're spending tens of thousands of dollars a year doing this. Right. When we worked on a budget, we asked, and it was what, about just under 20000 Yeah. Well, I think that what we need to do is lobby our legislators about this. And I know at that meeting, well, at the very they talked least, about it. I think that we need to reach out to the courier and that we need to reach out to whoever the powers to be are at the union and say, look, we're not paying this anymore. You give us a better price than this, or we're well, going somewhere. Yeah, let's let's do a bit or call them. I mean, I guess my question is, can I publish in the source? Well, I mean, it mm -hmm. needs to be first of all, the source only is published once a month, okay. so oh, I think that that would be a okay. challenge. And it has a long lead time. Well, yeah, well, it's got a really long lead right. time. So I think that, um, I mean, the 
the words that I always think of as reasonably calculated to apprise the public. Right. And so I think that, it, you know, you look at which paper is circulated the most in town. And I, I don't know the answer to those questions. Um, I don't know either. And I don't know how many people actually take the union anymore. <laughs> you know, and so we officially spent right. $20,000 a year posting in a newspaper that That's nobody true. looks at. But the fact of the matter is the law treats publication in a newspaper separately than publication through other means. Right. So there are different legal requirements as it pertains to the agenda. It's sufficient for you to post it on the bulletin board. And so Chauncey will let us know what we're required to publish and what we're not required to, or you will. Yeah, I mean, we'll look at those. Do you want it for the entire county? Because yeah. I know our office has yeah. has notices that we have to publish, and we don't always know whether or not we're going to have to publish. So, I for think example, we should, because and then you add in because uh, we're not paying for what they publish. That's in their well, budget. That's what right? I was going to say. Right. But we're responsible for the overall budget. So, right. if I would like to know. Other departments, same as us, we've right. been published in because that's what we thought the requirement was. I think we going forward, let's only publish what actually is the Has requirement. To be required. Which I think is what we like. We're not publishing oh. things just to publish them. No, <laughs> right. I get that. I understand, we understand that. that. By the same token, I believe that at the very least, like we don't have to publish a sample ballot in the newspaper anymore. We just have to have a listing of all. The I think at the very so least that we, we do our due diligence in the context of we're always talking about bidding things out, mm -hmm. and there is a real question as to whether or not the union a is a county paper. Just because it circulates here makes it no different than the courier. You're right. I think we get get a bit from. Let's see. take a bid. Uh, I will also just point out in the code section that I sent to Lee, it does say that you have to publish in a notice that has requested notice be published. So, uh, excuse me, publish notice in a newspaper that has requested it. So if, if there's something on file from the union requesting notice. Well, they've got a, they, they've requested us to designate them the official paper. I'm saying specifically as it pertains, excuse me, specifically as it pertains to agendas. No. Meeting agendas. That's so that's I just want to I just want to bring your attention to that language as well. So it's sufficient by law to publish or to post the agenda on the bulletin board. However, if there's a newspaper that has filed a request for notice, then you also have to publish notice. Here's the other thing. Now that they don't print five days a week and our official notices are on Thursday, according to mm -hmm. them still, or that's when they'll be published. Okay, that paper, uh, I'm not sure that whether or not they deliver that paper on Friday. Always it used to be whatever came out on Friday, those folks didn't get the newspaper out in the country till Saturday. Right. So I want to say for several years, probably ever since they went to these new deadlines, I'm assuming when um, the Gazette took them over, you know, in Cedar Rapids, there hasn't been enough time to get the agenda in the newspapers mm -hmm. on time because they need like three or four days notice where before I used to send it on Thursday afternoon and it would be in Friday's paper. That's no longer the case. So right. the agendas aren't even, I haven't seen them in there for years. Well, but it's sufficient enough question. to be on the bulletin board. Yeah, that answers that question. So we post our minutes on the website. And our agenda is are always posted on the radio station's website. Mm -hmm. Can we post something, even if we're required in the paper? And I'm guessing the answer is no, but I'm going to ask the question anyway. Um, just a short, please see our web, county website and list it for whatever would have to be published. We publish that because that'd be a lot cheaper than the whole. I think I think the problem that I would see is that some people don't have access to the website. Otherwise, they would go there, right? You know, ostensibly, if they knew that it was posted on the website and they had access I guess to it, it. So if they have access to the 
well, I don't know. Uh, no, I understand. Yeah. I understand. No, I, I, I do understand think that it's kind of an antiquated anachronism, I guess. That's a double. Anyway, it's an anachronism in the law that they treat the newspaper as the only source of information when most people don't get their information there. Okay. And evidence of that is they're going to two days a week. Right. Because the goods right. is, is in the tank. And I understand that. And I'm sad about that. Just as I'm sad about the fact that we never see a reporter here. So my question is, is the only reason they send that damn request out is because they want that $20,000 a year. I'm not naive. I get it. They need mm -hmm. it. But they don't care enough about this county to send a reporter here right. to have a conversation about our meetings. I know. And they do the other two counties that they uh I don't, I don't know the answer to that. They do, because I, I still get the electric version of it. So... Um, other question. Would we basically just call up the paper and ask them, or can we take bids from them to be the official paper? Or how would we do that legally? I really don't know the answer to that question, and I would have to look at it because I think that there's, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll get back to you. Because I would like to say, I don't care anymore which paper says they yeah. they're not published here. Um, Let's look at the paper. courier. Let's yeah. look at that. Uh, even the register, although I'm sure that's probably expensive. Well, I just, I just hate paying out that kind of money <clears throat> uh, when I see no value to it. But a list for the whole county would be helpful since we're responsible for the whole budget overall. Yeah, we don't want to publish things that we don't have to um, anymore. Just a question. It's it's not a legal question, but uh, do you pay them yearly or is it per publication? Per publication. Okay. Like once a month or something, the bill. Comes. They send a bill. Mm -hmm. And that's just, we don't know what, well, we get the bills together too. But. And you don't necessarily know, like, for example, to speak from my office, like, I don't always know whether I'm going to have to publish if we're terminating parental rights and we can't find a parent. We have to publish. Right. And so we don't always know, though, ahead of time, whether what that cost is going to be, whether we're going to have to publish. Well, the that's just one example. Required by law, or have been, if we want to vacate roads, close a road, we're <laughs> yes, required to public publish hearing. That. But again, you know, the question is, and I, I hearken back to when it was printing five days a week, we were only required by law to publish once when we wanted to close Hemlock up north of the, the bypass there. We did our due diligence. Evidently, nobody got it till after we closed it and they figured out that, that it was gated and closed, and then we had a whole slew of folks come in. Okay. So the question is whether or not to even look at the publications. I know the law doesn't care whether they look, yeah. just that we published. But And so we changed our process by we, we thought, well, okay, we're going to publish at least <clears throat> three times, and we've got everybody covered. But that cost becomes exorbitant as well. And I, uh, my office sends out letters, too, to yeah. all the adjacent property owners giving them notice. But, I mean, there's a trade-off there, right? Like, you have to pay to publish, but then the county doesn't have to maintain that road any longer. Right. So there's a cost. Well, no, I'm, there. Just, I'm just at the point where, mm -hmm. so no, we sit in here, and I, how many times I've heard the term, well, it's, you know, it uh, no less than four, no more than 20. So then you got to gauge everything in between there and you look at your dates and everything that's going on. And then I just hear Abby say, well, it doesn't get in there anyway. I think what we need to find out yeah. is if you can help us with the total county, how much we're paying on publishing. Because I do know at that one meeting we had in December with the legislators, they were interested in that dollar amount. I know Jeff was. Yeah. He said, and if we can give them that and say, you know, because they're cutting our yeah. our budgets, and this is one thing they could do to help us yeah, I see is to change that law. Email that... diatribe to all three of them about, and I just I told them I, you know, I looked at the numbers, and our increase in general basic with what we're allowed this year is one hundred and thirteen thousand, and our insurance went up one hundred and twenty two thousand. The math doesn't work. And so this is another one of those things that. Yeah. Okay. So 
So just to confirm, there are three questions. We're working on a list of what has to be published by the board, but you'd also like a list from the different departments. From the whole county so that we of what need what each to department be. ends up publishing. Mm -hmm. And I'm then sure if the there's probably has to publish when they're closing a road. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or whatever. Yeah. But so we could have some facts so that we can meet mm -hmm. with our legislators and say, listen, here's what's on. The code says, mm -hmm. here's what it's costing us. Mm -hmm. You keep taking away our money. This is one place since people aren't reading the paper like they used to. Let us put it on our website. Because all counties have websites mm -hmm. in today's world. And then lastly, the other question is if there's a specific paper that has to be used. And we do use... The we researched this several years ago. Of... And at that time, it said it had to be published in the county. And the only one... At Willow, there were two. The one was the Richland one, but they said something because it had a the, post office box at Packwood that qualified. So now that none of them are just a long time ago. What? The Plainsman has yeah. to be published in the county. Yeah. And then it's also owned by the Southeast Iowa Union. Oh, it is. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Well, that solves that one. Yeah. I like to see us at least check with the courier to see what they would charge. I will do that if you want me to. Would you please? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. So do we need to do this today? And I don't even think this is an official. It just said they'd like to be selected as an official publication. Can we, ta can we table this one till we get the numbers from? I love this, our large, General circulation publication. <laughs> it's so large that I just think we table it based on we in fact we need more information. It does is it even the agenda item just says official newspaper designations. Yeah, it doesn't say discuss and consider. Mm. Mm. Welcome to the publishing. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's, here. Mm. let's put this back on for next Monday and see okay. if you have any information. And if we get them what we spent, maybe this, and we know a little bit, we can compare them. And do you want me to reach out to the different departments and kind of get, or who, I just want to clarify that since that was kind of a um, request. Yeah, because then you can check and see what's required and what. Got it. She had so that all departments combined 25K for fiscal year 23. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Shannon. I mean, it, it doesn't make or break the budget, but it's not an insignificant number either. Exactly. That's helpful information. Okay, let's put this on next week. And you think for twenty five thousand, they'd at least send somebody here sitting in the meetings. Mm. Okay, perfect. Um, number eight. Oops, appoint weed commissioner. I thought Dwayne was going to do that. He did, but we just this is one of those annual things. Seems like we just did that, but we had a change in staff. Yeah. So uh, motion to approve or motion to appoint uh, county engineers. Office or county engineer? Mm -hmm. County engineer. I think it has to be a person. Second. I second that. Oh, okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, number eight, discuss and consider bid for Windows at Public Health Office. And it looks like we don't have anything. We don't have a bid. Yeah. Okay. Number nine. Discuss and consider a resolution mm -hmm. providing for the financial support of the Regional Planning Affiliation, RPA. All right. Mm -hmm. And this is their annual request, which is basically our share is $3,005, and that's based on population, right? Um, I'm going to read the, the part that talks about the financial benefit here. Whereas RPA 15 expects to receive and pro, 
gram an estimated 2,899,002 in federal highway transportation grant funds or FY25 to be used for road improvements. And the estimate in Jefferson County, our share would be $316,000. $142. And then IDOT requires area 15 regional planning to provide 20% local match toward the annual IDOT planning grant. And the FY25 local match requirement is an estimated 27,556 shall be proportionally shared by the member jurisdictions, whereas the governing body of Jefferson County is a member of our B15 and his appointed share of FY25 that equals $3,005. So, Matt. Yeah, this, is, um, this is separate from Area 15 Regional Planning, but, but this, um, and the engineers also have a mm -hmm. PAC committee. Um, this 316000 we can also carry that over. We don't have to, to spend that. We, we do what's called program. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so Dwayne has Dwayne's aware of that amount of money, and he program it with other funds to accumulate. We, if you remember, I think we had two million dollars in the bank, so to speak, when we did uh, Packwood Road, for example. And so, um, and this one is based on population, right? And Chris Chris Kukla handles all of this. He does a phenomenal job. I would make a motion that we um, approve the. Uh, um, I don't know what you call it, the dues, the, the financial support for the regional planning affiliation. In the amount of $3,005. Yes. Is there a second? We're getting a $3,005. So, right there. This is RPA. Yeah, I just wondering, I don't have one. Oh. Let me just look at it for a second. Okay, because you've got that one. So that's where. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I'll vote for that. Okay, I will second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Do you not opposed it? No, Abby. Nope. <laughs> okay. A lot here, Abby. <laughs> Okay. Discuss and consider resolution providing for the financial support of the regional planning affiliation. This is period 15. And it is 53 cents per capita for a total amount of $2,520.15. Motion to approve. We have a motion. Second. And a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Bye. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget, we have to open the bids to that the car. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Discuss and consider. Plumbing bill. <clears throat> so I don't know who I talked to now. Somebody was it, was it GD or I think so. Called? This one. Yeah, and it turns out I guess those are extra batteries. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I signed, yeah. These are our question was we thought originally right. this should be included in the construction for the basement project, but it's extra batteries in case some of the toilet batteries. And it makes sense. It's uh seventeen hundred and seventy dollars. So yeah. How much? Seventeen seventy. Is that that one? No, nine hundred and seventy dollars and forty four cents. Well then what is this one? This one just oh, this one just came. This one I think Shannon's hanging on to Yep, that bill. that's a different one. We just got that one. So, since it says discuss and consider, 
after um, any further information, I would make a motion to approve payment of that bill for in the amount of nine hundred and seventy dollars and forty four cents to. Um, I don't know to who it's A to. plus service plan. Huh? A plus. Okay. And I'll second that in the discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we just got a bill since we're on bills. And this is for the boiler. And it's just one we just need to process. But just as an information, it's $1,770. And then another bill we just got, and I, we need to decide if this is ARPA or if this is going to be in the budget. And this is for $2,576.32 for strikers for the ambulance. Um, for how much? <laughs> $2,576.32, you've signed it. But I, again, I I thought we were talking about stopping the, the ARPA flow. We did. So I'm okay if they want to take that out of their budget, but not ARPA. Obviously we need to pay it, we need it. Because right. that's an important- Well, the other strikers have came out of uh, 0001. ARPA would be 004. Yeah. So I'd, yes. Hey, on this striker bill that we've got, I have a question. Um, okay. I don't want to hey, what is it? And it's two pieces, 1288.16 times two. And it says wireless, gateway wireless Titan. Yeah, it's, did they hang up on you? Maybe <laughs> so. Who are you talking to? Must have been too difficult a question. Well, I haven't seen. Let's just take it out of operational. I agree with that. All right, I'm going to make a motion for that. Not that we need one, but Hello. we don't have any. Item. Well, that's just my normal bill paying stuff, though. Well, we've taken the others out of uh, oh, 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 one. So we don't have to have one. So it's... But two of us want at least one. So that wasn't included in the, in, in the, hmm. in the monitors? Okay. All right, that's what I need to know. Meetings, I saw them. <laughs> Thank you. Drink what? I brought my orange juice, but those are well, modems meeting. for the heart monitors so that they can transfer the information well, in, I, into the hospital. Obviously, we need them, but I think <clears throat> let's have them take it out of their office. Well, I just, when I saw Striker, I thought right, it was it might be warranty or something. Right. Okay, so. This is going to be an 001 and an 004 then, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, 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 one. <laughs> I feel like I'm stuttering when I say this, all those others. Okay. Okay, that to show me. I'm saying this one. Okay. Official publication in League 4852. Night committee reports. Uh, we all did budget work session last week. Anything else? Probably not two committees last week. Ah, uh, no, it was pretty quiet. Okay. Yeah. Um, any public comments? The next time let's move back to the beginning. It, I just copied it from last right. year. No, and that's fine. Any public comments? Any public comments? 
Okay, hearing none, allow claims and approve reports. So moved. Second, second that. Okay. In the amount of? In the amount of $107,173.28. Um, motion and a second, I need a discussion. All in favor? You know, uh, I, do, uh, I do have something to say. Yeah. I think we really have to start looking at the money. I don't want it to be February and we realize we should have taken more money or budgeted less. For what? You know, Everything. Well, we can do that. We we had a budget work session to work on ours. We can look at everybody's here pretty quick. Yeah. Okay. Get your calendars out. When do you want to do it? What are we working on? Just get a roll up of the whole county and see where we are. And we did talk about doing that. Sometime in January. Departments don't have to have their budget in until the 15th. So, and right. our office doesn't have all, you know, yeah. nobody has their budget completed yet, I would assume. Well, and I think you're looking at this to now budget, not mm -hmm. next year. So, we're looking at just now, year to date, where we are. We had said we were going to halfway through the year stop and look at it, how where everybody was at well if we wait till after the 10th we'll have the december included in it because you know it always comes out right after the 10th so do you want to do that on the 15th after the meeting on the 12th if it's possible it's... abby if it's possible sometime this week no, 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 no. 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 <clears throat> when we get those reports, is there any way that, that we can get from Shannon protected any fund balances so that we look at those? Because sometimes the numbers are confusing in the reports. But if we're looking at what our projected ending fund balances are, because, for example, the other day, well, I said the other day, it's been a couple of weeks ago now, I had a conversation with Shannon as she sent them out. And we were looking at a projected ending fund balance in the road department of 1.1 million, which is phenomenal. Um, so I just think that those numbers are important. Well, that then we need to wait till after the 15th because we won't have those, will we, until? I don't know. That's. It's not me, so I don't know. I mean, the, the, what we're getting on the 15th is for budgets for next fiscal year. Mm -hmm. The ending fund balances are what's projected mm -hmm. for this fiscal year. So, but anyway. The only thing I have right now is on the 10th, I have a doctor's appointment at 8.30 and a rest meeting at 11 a.m. And I think you have a mental health meeting. Yeah. It's an Wednesday's it's not an good for me. Um, <clears throat> um, it's an appointment. Oh, okay. And I have ECI on the four, at 4 p.m. on the 15th because somebody didn't take it for me. Who shall remain nameless, but her initials are SD. <laughs> No, do you ever get tired of all the chatter and noise? <laughs> do you want to do something on the fifteenth after the meeting and look at that? Or I suppose uh, we ought to wait and ask Shannon because it really depends on her too. Yeah, no, I'm fine with the fifteenth. Yeah. Budget yeah. session is that what we call it? Yeah. Just a work session. You still want one on the eighth? Yeah, she had some things she wanted to go over with us on our budget. So, yes, we should do one on the 8th, too. Oh, is that one budget work session on the 8th, too? Right. Because when I was over there, Shannon said she had some things from our budget she wanted to clarify. All righty. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Second, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, thanks everybody.